Hello, how are you? I hope you're good. This is already starting to meow. Hopefully it's not gonna be too bad. I just got back from my holiday, so this is my first video. I really need some like good cheering up because I'm back to reality. Hello, darkness, my Thankfully something came in in the mail today just in time and I just couldn't wait because I really want to see what's inside. That is the Azkabox Year 3 box, Prisoner of Azkaban, which must be a big influence on the box, I mean because of the name alone. This was sent to me for free in exchange for an honest review, which honest I will always be, um, and the link is down below. Uh, make sure to check them out if you like what you're seeing. I have really enjoyed their boxes in the past and I'm very very excited. This is very heavy. I think just before I open this I want to make some predictions. It's very on theme as well because I think divination obviously is a third year subject so let's try and predict some things that would influence the items inside of it. So I think something with the prison of Azkaban would probably be inside of this as well as obviously a time turner. This is also where the Marauders map comes into play so I'm excited to see what's there for this. As well as perhaps something with divination, maybe the cup with the grim, maybe like glasses of Trelawney's or Trelawney in general. They do a pin every month I think, so far at least. Uh, so maybe it's gonna be a Trelawney ma uh, pin. Uh, oh, Bugbeak! Bugbeak could be there as well, because um, Hagrid and Bugbeak both played a very important role. Oh, also the Firebolt. Is it the fourth book or is it the third book? Oh my god. No, it is the third one. It's the third one. So Firebolt. Firebolt as well. Wow, okay. Hogsmeade as well. Maybe Aunt Marge. The Night Buzz. What else? The mentors, the mentors plays a massive part, so I feel like I named way too many things to fit in the box. Those are some of my predictions, but once I'm certain of is probably like the map and the time turner. And kind of divination as well, just cause like that's where that whole thing started. Let's get into it. Let's open the box. I'm very excited to see what is inside. So cool. Okay. So this is how it looks like straight from the batch. We have the Serious is so excited. Okay, wait, <laughs> I need to like pull in a chair so I can place this somewhere. Uh, okay, so we have the Aska Box Year 3 spoiler card, not gonna look at it, and of course, the Have You Seen This Wizard Azkaban Prison with Sirius's like moving picture. I think it's the muggle pose that made it still, but you know, uh, any information leading to the arrest of this man shall be duly rewarded. No card as a spoiler card, which I also think is a great thing because um, I don't think anyone actually keeps spoiler cards, but you could now because it's like a print. Okay, next thing is this aged parchment paper. I thought this was gonna be that. Permission for visit to Hogsmeade for Book Rose. Oh, it's personalized. How cool is that? So it'll have your name. This document serves to state that the aforementioned third year student of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry is permitted to visit the village of Hogsmeade at such a time that the school arranges and with the signature of the undersigned parent or guardian. So I'll need to really behave this summer so my parents can sign that in time for September. Do you know, <laughs> might actually ask my parents to sign it, that would be pretty, pretty cool. Um, fun fact, my dad always used to just sign with a cross because he was one of those people who would not trust an, a mundane school document with his actual signature. If you ever think why I'm so paranoid of everything in the world, it's my dad's fault. Legitimately, though. <laughs> He's one paranoid guy. It came with the territory though because of his work. Anyway, next we have another little parchment piece here and that is a slip that Neville had with all of his passwords that then Crookshanks stole and gave to Sirius in the form of a dog. And that is so cool! That is again such a tiny detail that only like real real fans would notice. I love that. I especially appreciate those like lesser known bits. Not that there's anything wrong with the like massive ones, but it's just a sweet detail. So we have all of the passwords. Scurvy Kerr, Scurvy Kerr, Huzzah, Hail My King, Hufty Tufty, <laughs> Hufty Tufty, uh, Pitch Kettled, Windshucker, 
Uh, witness. When lost, please return this list to Neville. Oh boy. I hate Sir Cadogan is also a note. So that is a really, really cute little addition. Then we have this item and it has the Owl Post wax stamp right here. Ooh, this is from In The Reads, which is a company I do really like. And they do like bookish stuff. And this is a woodmark. I love myself woodmarks. And it actually has the golden details, which is really cool. And this is a night bus ticket woodmark. I think it's really, really cool. Obviously, you can use any type of night ticket as a bookmark, but this one is wooden, so it's gonna be sturdier and last longer. One passenger for a single journey, as we all know, 11 sickles. I think that's really cute, actually. One item for Hogsmeade and one item for Night Bus already. Okay, and then I, I spy a mug. That's a really massive mug. Boy, I love massive mugs. I pretty much only use the massive types. Ooh, this feels really nice. It's a matte finish. Love myself matte finishes. We have the Grim Tea Leaves design, but not inside of the mug, on the side of the mug. And on this side, there is a lettering that says, my dear, you have the Grim. <laughs> so this is something that Trelawney says, I love this. It's a really nice, really big mug. Like it's massive. What I appreciate the most is the handle. I can already tell that it's extremely comfortable and it is so big. Sometimes on the massive mugs, they just put a standard size uh, handle and I don't appreciate or understand it, but <laughs> it's not the case with this one. And I'm very, very happy with it. It's a very pretty mug. It might have been cooler if this design was inside of the mug, but I know it's not always possible to have a design inside of the mug. It's pretty on the outside as well. I think it's a tea towel. Oh no, it's actually like a sleeping pillow case thing. <laughs> For in dreams we enter a world that is entirely our own. Let them swim in the deepest oceans in the deepest ocean or glide over the highest cloud. So this is something that Dumbledore says when everybody is sleeping. I think it's only a movie quote. I'm not sure actually, might might be the book as well. But um, this is something that he says when everyone is sleeping in the Great Hall because Sirius Black is roaming the castle. I do have quite a few pillows from book boxes that are like the sleeping pillows. I will say I prefer the material of this one because it's very natural. It's it's like super natural, like actual sleeping material, not like plasticky. But um, I, I will say the same thing I always say when I get a pillow there and I just want them to match. I cannot have one separate one, but maybe we're gonna have a another one in the fourth one, but also someone who has only bought year three might not have year four necessarily so i wish they maybe came came in a pair and actually i just wish maybe this was not a sleeping pillow but like a normal cushion for um your sofa and stuff obviously the quote really suits the sleeping theme so i understand why they have done that and i'm also aware not everyone's gonna be so picky <laughs> i do really like it though next up is our pin this time we have bug beak i did mention him so great. I mean, I mentioned most of the things, so... <laughs> it's a really nice bug beak pen. We don't really have a lot of bug beak items, and I do actually really love bug beak and thestrals. Maybe the thestral is gonna be in fourth year. No, that would be fifth year. Yeah, fifth year. A little butterbeer, I think, I spy there. I don't know if this is like a potion thing. Oh, it's a candle! That is adorable! So we have the proper warnings on the bottom. We have a butterbeer, like, type of, like, engravement. Not engravement, but, like, a really cool sign. And it's a tiny bottle. It's teeny, teeny, tiny, and it's adorable. You even have, like, butterbeer. The color, the froth on the top is so cute. This is by the Coconut Apricot Wax uh, Flitwick's Butterbeer. So excited to sniff it. Ooh. Very strong, sugary smell. I can't really explain it properly, but it's very sugary, very caramel. Did, was that the actual scent? Coconut apricot? Huh. Interesting combination if that's the case. And smells really nice. Maybe a bit too sweet for my liking, but I'm not gonna burn this. This is gonna be on a display because it's adorable. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, that froth. Is beautiful. It's like it legitimately looks like it was squeezed out of the like the cake thing. 
Can you tell I don't bake? <laughs> I love that so much. Oh, and there's a card for it actually. It's flitwix.org. Uh, flitwixcandles at gmail.com. But if you live nearby and you're on the look for some candles, I think the must do some Harry Potter ones since the name. That is a very adorable, well done, and really beautiful candle. Okay, next up is a little potion bottle, and this one is Aconite, um, which is also known by different names such as Monkshood and Wolfsbane. Aconite is used to create the Wolfsbane potion. This is obviously a potion ingredient for when Snape was brewing a potion for Lupin. It's beautiful, it has some details inside of it with some seeds of something. Um, and it's gonna go sweet on my potion-y shelf. I love it. There's still so much to go by the way. Ooh, I spot, spotted something else, but let's get this first. Um, oh, okay, so this is another um, book sleeve. This one is actually much better than their first one, I think. Ooh, and it's so soft inside. It has like a, not velvety, I don't remember now, like what the material is called, but it's right, like it's bright red inside, really matches my um, headband. And it is for the Marauders map. It has the Marauders map um, design on it, which is beautiful. And it says, Messrs. Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot, and Prongs offer their compliments to Professor Snape and request that he keeps his abnormally large nose out of other people's business. And it has the Ask a Box logo right here. It's really, really nice. Definitely miles better than their first one that they included in the first box. And I, I really do like it and I will be using it. I especially actually like the softness inside. It's just such a pleasant... Like the book would be so happy in there. <laughs> you could also even put like your iPad and stuff. Although like maybe you would want that to like zip here. Maybe you can add a little bit of Velcro or a button here. Next up is their fandom blends, another one of the tins that they include with their teas. This one is Lupin's chocolate tea. It has all the ingredients. Chocolate is the best cure from when you have encountered some dementors, but I don't like chocolatey teas for myself. It's a beautiful blend though. I'll try and show you in the close-up. I'm not trying to open it here. I think it's really cool for like a portable if you like. <laughs> that is super random, but if you do like to bring your own tea to like your friends or something, you can obviously just like bring that. Or if you really want to always be prepared, you're like massive tea lover. But personally, I'm just not a big fan of chocolate tea. Next up, we have a poster. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh, it's so soft. So it's like this glossy... Not, not really glossy, but like really nice thin parchment roll. Um, and it's a Hogsmeade map. Oh my god, this would look amazing framed. Are you joking? This is so stunning. I love that so much. And it has all of this um, shops and they're named and numbered so you can see which one's which. I adore this. I wonder if this is also done by In The Reads. Let, let me check because they do these kind of things, like maps and stuff. It is also done by In The Reads. Look at me knowing shops and stuff. <laughs> I love that. Such good job. I really, really love the paper. I need to keep this safe somewhere though, because I need to frame it or something. That is beautiful. This whole box is beautiful. I'm so smitten by all of these items. They're really good. Okay, next up is the Espresso Patronum Whipped Soap. Oh, a whipped soap. Creamy, moisturizing whipped soap made with mainly whipped glycerin. Coffee gently exfoliates while depositing skin and nourishing ingredients. Uh, this is made by Alchemy for the skin. And it looks like this. I think they have included a cream previously or something. And this is like a soap. It smells actually pretty nice. I've never had a whipped soap. I had a whipped cream, which I was a big fan of. It's maybe a little bit bizarre for a soap because I think it might be a little bit gimmicky um, to have next to your sink because I have cats that go onto the sink, they like being on the sink. Um, so I wouldn't leave it open for them and then like if I wanted to wash my hands every time I would have to like sort of unscrew it and stuff. So I don't know if I'll actually be using it. I appreciate the idea and the pun is also, you know, funny. Okay, I think... Oh my god, there's way more. I'm trying not to miss anything in the packaging. Oh, 
Oh, this is the item they asked me about my actual name. So I actually had a permission for visit to Hogsmeade for my real full name as well. That is so sweet. Thank you. Okay, and then we have some prints and... Oh, I just saw one print I really like and something else. Okay, let's see. So first of all, this is a a time turner uh, little notepad. I use those notepads all the bloody time and this is just gonna go straight into the pile of those to use. I use them for work, I use them for personal stuff. I love them. Then we have some prints. So this one is of the scene where Harry summons like a proper Patronus by the lake, saving himself and Sirius. Liz F. Cab Caballero. Um, same as the Marauder's print. Where is it? Oh, and there's another Marauder's print right here. Um, next to the Willow. The one that I really love though is this. This is like a monster book of monsters, but almost like one of those like blueprinty um, Fantastic Beast ones that we've seen before. But this one is for the Book of Monsters, which I love. It's one of my favorite things. I really need to get like that replica. Just heard a pigeon in the chimney, <laughs> but okay. And it has some notes. A vicious and aggressive textbook that is quite informative. Stroke the spine before opening. Nubby, funny tentacles. I really love that. This is done by Twilling and Tatting. I love that. I would love to see more prints like that. I think they would look, again, very beautiful framed somewhere in your room. So that is 16 bloody items in this. That is a lot of items and so many good ones. This is definitely my favorite box of theirs by far. And one of my favorite Harry Potter boxes to date that I received. I'm just really happy with it. But I also have one more thing in my box, but I do not see it on the list. So I'm thinking they might have included that for me, which is... Let me just go cry for an hour. It has a little note here and it says, because every witch needs her Hogwarts letter, Dustin. Oh man. Oh my God, it is my actual name and my actual address. So I'm not gonna show you that one. <laughs> and the second sheet obviously has all of the information. That is so sweet. I would have made one of these for myself. It's just different when you get one from someone else. It's just, you know, special, more like legit <laughs> than making one for yourself. Um, not that there is anything wrong with that, believe me. It is amazing. Thank you, Bess. <laughs> that is so cute. It's gonna definitely go and live next to all of the other things that I want to frame one day. I will just need like a massive room that just has super high walls. A lot of space for me to frame everything and it's just gonna be a book a, a, a room for framing stuff <laughs> okay what is my favorite item i don't know so to name a couple of my favorite things it's actually including two prints which is not usually my favorite thing in general but i love this print so much and also the map oh my god so much and it also feels so nice that material I really like the woodmark as well, especially because it has metallic details. This candle is absolutely adorable. Fight me if you think otherwise. Really like the size and the shape and everything about this mug. I know this is tiny. It's more like an additional detail than anything else, but I love the password sheet. I just think it's just one of those things, you know, that is so special to own because it's like the little note from... Neville, but obviously, you know, you get me. And of course, I think it's really special that they personalized the permission slip for Hogsmeade. I think it's an amazing item to have, especially with your name on it. And I do really love the book sleeve. I really don't know which one is my, like, the most favorite. I just, I love it all so much. Anyway, I am so excited about year four. I already cannot wait. This has been an amazing box for me personally. But let me know what you guys think. What was your favorite item? Did you love this box? Did you think it was just all right? Um, I am very much in love with the contents. It had really such a great mixture. It had personalized items, which I'm always and forever a massive fan of. Had some really beautiful prints. Had some prints, like these are not my favorite style, but again, that's very personal. But like the other two, I absolutely love. Had some bookish items, which I suppose would be a bit of a miss for other people who are not also into books. But if you're into Harry Potter, a lot of the times I feel like you are into books as well, because these things, 
like the Harry Potter series for a lot of us, let's be honest, made us into readers. So I feel like, you know, and I personally obviously love those. So maybe it's because of that that I love this so much. Um, anyway, I'm just now gushing about it, but like things like this, I just have to, must not to fucking love. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. This is also a family run business. I love seeing them work with other little companies that I know and love myself. I'm gonna stop gushing because I seem to just not being able to stop talking about this box. Um, but I'm gonna let you let me know what you guys think. As I said, I'll link it down below if you want to check out the website and everything or their Instagram. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna film a mid-year freakout tag because otherwise I'll just sit and talk about this box. Man, I love Harry Potter. Harry Potter's awesome. Hope you guys are good. Stay awesome, stay kind, and I'll see you next time. Bye!